pilots to this edition of the LSU Shreveport Student News. I'm Ian Andrew. And I'm Stacy Hyman. Our first story today is about Veterans Day. LSUS took part in the national holiday to pay tribute to our vets. Winnie Kennedy has more. Veterans Day is our chance to remember and honor those of our community who are serving and have served in branches of the military. LSU has held a special ceremony this week to commemorate this day of thank you. Oh, I think it's a day that we can honor everyone that served our country and I think it's a great thing that we're doing here because they deserve the recognition. It's, uh, I think it's really nice what's going on, what they're doing here, you know, in remembrance of everything. I'm glad to see that going on in my school here and everything. I mean, I'd agree with what he said, you know. I mean, it's good that I guess the school, you know, um, recognizes, you know, our veterans and what they do. As we think back, we remember those we have lost from many wars, such as World Wars I and II, Vietnam, and now action in Iraq and Afghanistan. Recently, LSUS was voted military friendly by GI Jobs Magazine, and we are all committed to trying to help our vets any way we can. Hey Stacy, what's going on campus when there's over 250 people here wearing business suits and dresses? What? A job fair? Actually not this time. It's the Red River Swing Debate Tournament hosted by LSUS. Logan McCray was here and he had more on the story. The LSU Shreveport debate team hosted the largest debate and forensics tournament in the region this past weekend. 26 programs from across the nation descended upon the Shreveport campus to compete. LSUS had schools from Mississippi to Michigan joining the events. The University of Alabama and Boise State University took home the top awards. While their main focus was on hosting the tournament, some LSUS students entered the debate competitions. Kate Ryland, a senior majoring in both chemistry and speech, took first place in the varsity division of the public format style of debate. And LSUS alumnus Dan Ferris came back to compete, and he took second place in the professional division. With the support of the United Title of Louisiana as their elite sponsor, the LSUS team was able to host a successful weekend of public speaking and debate events. The team would also like to thank Albertsons and many area restaurants who helped support this huge endeavor. Reporting for LSU Shreveport Student News, I'm Logan McCrary. That was actually really cool that LSUS was able to have so many people out here from so many different universities. If you would like for more information on how to join the LSU debate team, contact Trey Gibson. On Wednesday, November 9th, musician Shay Bailiff came and performed for the students in the UC port. Also, during Shay Bailiff's performance, the SAB was passing out free popcorn to LSUS students. The SGA began, snap it to stop it. Stephanie LaPrette spoke with SGA President P.J. Harrington for more details. Starting in the spring, financial aid checks will not be dispersed until the 10th day of class. What brought about that change really are minuscule and not significant enough to bring about such a dramatic change to the entire student body because a large majority of our campus receives financial aid. The Snap It Stop It campaign is a written petition as well as a picture petition. Our Vice President Ronnie Longstrap came up with the idea of taking pictures so we give a face to the names and it's just not a, a normal, boring petition. And it's been very successful in terms of our campus. We have I believe over 700 signatures as of right now. And whatever we want to bring to the administration, whenever we get to that, talk to Marsala, Kansas our chancellor. Uh, That's we want B to be able to say the students are against this and what we are saying is very credible and that we're not just making this up just for the heck of it. Because we have all the information we need and it just boils down to us getting our ducks in line and getting ready for that main meeting that will end it and we'll have a solution. The way they would sign the electronic email is email sga at lsus.edu, full name from their valid LSUS email account, and then we add them to the petition. For LSU Shreveport Student News, I'm Stephanie LaPrette. In this free tournament, you must sign up before 10 a.m. on Monday. Hey pilots, this Wednesday, November 16th, be sure to join the SAB and the LSU Shreveport debate team in another hot topic titled, LSUS should move to a four-day schedule. The debate team will present this topic at the UC port stage during common hour. And if you miss the debate during common hour, the team will also have a theater debate with the exact same topic at 6 p.m. in the UC theater. Are you a fan of dodgeball? Then listen up. This Thursday, LSUS Rec Sports Dodgeball Tournament is taking place at 6 p.m. in the HPE gym. The deadline to register your six-player team is 4 p.m. this Wednesday. All and any combination of guys and girls are allowed. 
And as always, pilots, thanks for tuning into this week's newscast. See you next time.